A good place to look for images is the Associated Press Images Collection. It is available through EBSCOhost, which is linked off of the library's homepage. And what you do once you're inside EBSCOhost is you scroll down to the Associated Press Images Collection and you select it and continue. Once you have access to this collection, you'll be searching through images that are available through Associated Press uh, newspaper articles. So what we can do is look for particular images, um, like maybe volcanoes. And we can do a search for that particular search term. Now I can limit by a photographer if I happen to know that, or I can limit by source type, by date, et cetera. Um, but normally when we're doing searches, we're going to just go ahead and type in our search term. It is already just selected the apply equivalent subjects, which means it will look for things that are related to volcanoes as well. And here we have a list of results. In this case, we have uh, almost 12,000 results, quite a few for this particular search. What I can do is limit by date if I want, but images don't really limit by date too much. It doesn't matter necessarily when we look at images, but I can limit by the source type. As I mentioned, this will include a lot of newspaper articles. It may include some audio as well. So you can see the first couple of results say that they're audio listings. So I just want to focus into images. I still have 8,235. So what I can do is I can scroll through the first few to see if anything really pops out. But then I'm going to want to take a look at uh, other ways to focus in on my search topic. So you'll see that each of these images, which is what this result is, it's not an article, this is an image, it has a whole set of different subjects I can look to. And that's the way I can brainstorm different search topics. So if I may not just want volcanoes, I may want to look for volcanic eruptions. If that's the case, I can jot that down or I can copy and, and I can paste it in and I can do a different search. In this case, I've narrowed down my res results by quite a lot. I'm down to 3,327. Again, this is including news articles as well, so I'm going to want to limit to images once more. And again, I can focus by date, etc. So what I'm going to see um, as a list of results, you'll see number two, three, and four all have the same title. That is because within this particular article about this uh, Germany airport volcanic eruption, there are at least these three images associated with that article. They'll, they're all given pretty much the same subject descriptions, natural disasters, accidents and disasters, etc. So I can select from those three images. If I keep scrolling down, I'll see there are actually many more available from that particular article. If I'm not seeing exactly what I want, I can continue to search through. I kind of like this one on this Indonesia volcano. It looks like a pretty decent image. And I see one with an inset as well. Let's take a look at this one in a little bit more detail. What I'm seeing is a volcano with uh, looks like some sort of flag behind it. So if that's an image I think is interesting, I can look down at the description. It says it has a, a flag texture on the back. It's a partial graphic. It comes from the Associated Press and it's a print graphic. So it's not necessarily just a photograph, it's been uh, graphically altered in some way. If I decide that that is an image I want to use, I can always uh, email this, I can save, and I can also cite this for use in a paper. So if I want to cite an image as opposed to an article, I can click on cite and it gives me an APA style. It also gives me MLA st style as well. So I can copy and paste that in. If I want to go back to my result list and pick a different result, I can always do that. So I want to look at this Iceland volcano, see what that looks like. Looks like a pretty decent image there. It is again sort of set into a graphic behind it. Um, so again, it falls underneath the category of a print graphic, but it is a, an image within a backgrounded graphic. So these are things that you can do to kind of look around. Always pay attention to the additional subject terms because I may be able to search those particular subjects for additional search terms. If I'm interested in natural disasters in general, not just volcanic eruptions, I can redo my search within this Associated Press Images collection. It'll give me a listing of those uh, videos or the audio images as well. And I can always focus down to images and then add additional search terms. So if I wanna look up something like wildfire, I can do that. And it will limit my results um, as a result of that search. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to librarians. We're always here to help. Take care.